Hey, it's Link! So, you still want to get in some sword practice even though today is a wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go on, go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. Well, that's what I'm here for. Thank you. But thank you, really. Uh, so we come in the back, and there's a treasure chest. First treasure chest in the game. Oh, and the magic jingle all the time. Hear that a thing? We gotta practice swords. Students at the Nine Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. So, finally... Well, we can press 1 to get uh, the, the items that we're carrying. We're only carrying the sword and this thing. A small wallet, 300 rupees, and the practice sword. So, after that, we're gonna get it over here. And with this, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna practice a little bit. So, let me show you. This is supposedly one on one, so if you go up, this goes up. If you go side, this goes side. If you go like this, it goes like this. If you go like that, it goes like that. And you can actually stab. Like this. That's right, Link. Yes? You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Remember to... Yes? Oh, what? I was trying to say yes. Ah, uh, fine. Spin attack, like this. Final blow, after doing something like this. An enemy will be on the ground, you see target and press A. Uh, no, actually, you see target and do this. This is a spin attack, but that works. Hey, Link! Hey. Yes? You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? I'm not sneaking out with it. I... I asked you. What? Your love when it's missing? Yes. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember that Skylof is a peaceful place. Only nice carry swords. So I don't want to see you swinging around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these locks first, and once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Sure. Already got enough practice. Thank you very much. That battery thing. Oh, right, uh, did I say hello? Hello everyone, I'm Pepper580, welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Celeste we Sword in the last episode. Uh, we talked to Pippin and Fletch and knew that our love wing is near a waterfall, but in this episode we got introduced to the Sheikah Stone, which is this one, and got our first sword. Hey friend, walk yourself on over here and say hello! I don't want to, but this cutscene forces me. How do you do? I want you to call Sheikah Stone. Let him eat you. I'm stunned a few words, so I'll let you right into it. You're going to find yourself in puzzle synchronizes that you make your way through this world. If you want to find yourself stuck and you have no idea how to move forward, come see me. I've got nothing for you right now, but down the road, when you're feeling stuck, the things I'll show you may just get you back on the right track. Good luck out there, friend! And now I am able to finally move on my own again. Yes. I'm sorry if this bugs you, but I just like going around running until this thing is almost leaping to death. So... I don't like waiting for it to go back either, so maybe that bugs you, but that's just the, the way I play this game. I'm sorry. I took the long way out, actually, so maybe... Yeah, I, I'm kind of stupid for that. Oh, but you you see that over there? That is surely going to be near a waterfall, because there's water over here. So, again, and again, and freaking again, and again. Hello there! So the waterfall is over there, so what's over here? Oh! What? Cutscene. Oh, my bird! Oh, my bird! That was a crimson bird! I suppose it's my bird. So, let's get out of my way. Let me, let me go through that so much. And now we're inside of the waterfall. Yes. Oh! Enemies! First kind of enemy, oh, keys. Oh my god, hit! This sword is weak, man. This sword is really weak. And we get our first collectible heart. So, this item's life giving rate energy restores one heart of life. Thank you. Now that that is done. Oh! Oh, choo choos! Choo choos are here too. So, yeah, you got your basic enemies, the keys that are very annoying. Even in this game, they are annoying. And we got Choo Choo's. We got 20 rooms right over here. You can't miss them pretty easily if you don't actually know where they are, but... There's some parts that you'll need to dash through, too. 
Dash up, dash up, ignore the keys. And there you go, another chest with another 20 rupees. So we're going really well with these. Oh, look at that! It's part of our first treasure! One of the few collectibles in this game. Uh, well, one of the few, which is uh, many. This is a monster claw. This extremely sharp claw looks, pa looks painful to even touch. And that gets us to this place. So we only have one monster claw, which is not that much, but it's not a small thing either. Oh my god, I need some stamina because I need to park her over here. You don't actually need to fight the enemies in here, this is not even close to a dungeon. Oh, hello there, more claws. And the green rupee. I don't know why this thing just keeps telling me about this. But anyways, we got 40 over there, we got 40 uh, rupees. Now we can exit this little cave. Thank you. And out here, if you please, thank you very much. Oh, actually, uh, do I have my six hearts? Yes, I do. You may have noticed that that this game starts it with six hearts instead of three. Link, hello there, Zelda. Hey, Link. I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your love one? Yes. Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Gruz and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe you'll find something there. And what's that? Huh? Something wrong? Who? Who's that? It's gold. Huh? I didn't hear anything. Oh, sorry, Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Okay then. So let's run ahead because I don't want you to be near me. And cutscene. You're ahead of me. Look, there he is. Yes, there he is. No doubt about it. That's your lucky link. If there was any doubt, you cannot get through that cave without the sword because you cannot even enter it. And because right over here. Oh, excuse me. I don't want the barrels. Thank you. And this is one to one so that you can get your uh, love one. Excuse me, burials? Not thanks. And there is. Hello there, love wing. Don't be shy, you can't come out. Now that your loved one is free, you should fly to the ceremony. Something wrong? But before you go, I have to ask you something. I I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? Uh, nope. It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest thing. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Well, you said that earlier. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below, but I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old tales tell about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loved ones won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagine the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see for myself. Well, maybe someday. But right now, let's go back to the ceremony. <laughs> oh, sorry, Link. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look at your bear's waiting for you. Just leap the edge and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bear will catch you sure for this time. Surely. And I will do. <laughs> so are we ready to do this? There's our crimson... Crimson... <laughs> Wolf wing, and we just fell. And still, the game will not let me do this because... Yes. And finally, we will be able to do this. So, coming over, coming over. There you go. Now we place. There you go. Love Wing, thank you for coming. Now it's gonna start the basics for flying. So even more tutorials. Yay! Just like this, every start of the, every start of Let's Play, and every start of the game. 
well, at least on my channel, because I've never done it. Games that don't give you tutorials. Take less around your bird through the basics. Don't make sure he's not hurt. You can change the direction your bird is flying by tilting the weird mode left and right. If you want to speed up, you tilt it downwards. Turn the weird mode up and gain some altitude. Then point the weird mode down to drop in the fast track. So again, tilt the weird mode up, then point the weird mode down to speed up. Those are the basics of getting your weird mode to the top speed. So how's he handling? Do you think he's flying alright? Yes. While riding your long wing, you can press 2 at any time to go over the basic controls again. You can also press A to charge, so and B to slow down. Like this, and like this. Yep. So, Zelda, are we all done? There are the basics. And there you go. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Link, but your long wing looks like he's flying right. My father and the others are probably worried about your birds, so let's go give them the good news. Good thing is, we don't have to go all the way back through the cave, so we're gonna go directly in there. But, there's a little bit of a but here, and this is gonna be a short episode, guys. That is gonna be everything for the episode, so if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment, and rate, and I will see you guys the next time for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. See you guys, later.